Magnus Carlsen is definitely thrown back by that move, as am I. Oh my. So, well, let's boldly state the obvious. Pawn takes on d5, pawn takes on d4, rook takes, rook takes should not cause the Chinese player any particular difficulties. So the next question we ask ourselves is what about takes on c5, then the knight takes on c5, and now something like f4, f5, black's g5 move really has not broken up white's structure, and this looks a little scary. Just let me play some moves for a second. Takes, takes. Knight d7, there is uh, a funky fork in the position. e6, knight b6, rook. This is the fork, which obviously doesn't work because I have takes on f7 and with a check. Everything comes with a check. Wow. <laughs> with so much tension in the game, this is a good time. When people ask me, when should I use my time? Well, the correct answer is when you feel it's a critical moment, and this definitely uh, fits that billing as being a critical moment in the game. Magnus Carlsen to play in a super sharp position, and he has played yet another move, knight b5. I like this move very much, by the way. I like this move a lot, and the world champion has found this move as... First of all, this knight on e4 is relying solely upon this d5 pawn as its support. So the move knight b5, eyeballing the square c7 so that you can play knight takes d5 and this knight on e e4 hanging in midair. Has the Chinese player underestimated this uh, solution for white? Good grief, I'm not even sure what black should be playing. I'm really... Uh, coming a cropper here in terms of how are you going to meet this move? It's not intuitively obvious at all. If you take on b4, grabbing a pawn, well, this just looks terrible. After both takes on d5, again, just asking this knight what it's doing, as well as knight c7, followed by taking this pawn on d5, this looks terrible. So, just a second, this is not what... I need a suggestion. And by the way, we do have tweets and comments. Any questions you may have, please do feel free. Uh, five. Uh, obviously is going to be met by king takes, this recapture. Uh, in those positions when the knight was on d4, the move f6 could be greeted by e5, e6. Maybe this is the way black has to go. Um, play with the move f6. But what am I thinking about? This is... Again, this move c takes d5, and this knight on e4 is in a tragic, tragic uh, square. Wow. Um, knight b5, and the Chinese players, and the times, just looking at the, the, the clock situation, huge difference in times. 24 minutes for the world champion versus under 2 minutes for the Chinese player and he's facing threats that I don't have a cure for at the moment. So it's both position and clock and big stress uh, for Yi Wei against Magnus Carlsen. Looks like he's in big trouble. I don't, I don't know what uh, the Chinese player is going to do. It may have just been that c6, c5 was simply a bad move. And again, uh, we'll stay with this game for a moment because he's counting down a minute on the clock and Magnus Carlsen, in second place be behind Pavel, as we started round four, is looking to, uh, to catch up with Pavel if he can down the Chinese player. Magnus up from the board, <clears throat> looking around the uh, tournament venue. He probably just went to grab himself a drink. I noticed that his water bottle was empty. That's a lot. Those look like liter jars, uh, liter bottles of uh, the aqua. Yeah, and he's, I think it's, Isklar is a sponsor of Magnus, and so we do have the G takes F4, I mean, that was the only mm, logical uh, follow-up to, if you're going to play the move G5 to break up the team, then G takes F4, King takes F4, uh, and now we have another move on the board. C5, 
takes b4 and very quickly answered c c5 takes b4 very quickly answered with c4 takes d5 and there we have it the resignation uh magnus carlson uh taking what i thought was a very balanced position wait the chinese player made what i get i am guessing was a huge error uh with this move c6 c5 uh, completely mistimed in knight b5 and that was all she wrote